Hi there, my friends of YouTube. I'm coming at you with a Q&A. You gave me the questions, now I'm going to give you the answers. And there's um, about 9 to 12 people that ask questions, and I'll answer them. And then tomorrow I'll pick um, a name that's going to get the $10 gift card that I said I was going to get from CVS. First person is the Blush Beauty. Hey, what is your favorite dish to cook for your family? Well, actually, I have two. One is beef stew. That's my boyfriend's favorite is beef stew. So I make that whenever he, he wants it. And goulash. Goulash is my favorite food. I grew up eating three to four bowls at a time. If you don't know what goulash is, it's where you got meat. And you've got the uh, macaroni. And you've got the um, crushed tomatoes. And you've got peppers and onions and all the good stuff. And you just like, it's soup and you can eat it. And dunk your bread in it. And oh, it's so good. And it says, which, what your five, your five year goal and what are your favorite videos to film? My five year goal, I really don't have a five year goal, but if I was to have one, it would be to be more successful in what I'm doing in the videos. I mean, I watch it, a lot of people's videos, I get ideas on how to get a little bit better. Maybe I'll have five years from now, I'll have lighting in the back, makes, so it looks a lot better. Maybe I can do some tutorials a lot better anything like that. And my favorite videos to film are unboxing videos and right now I'm starting to get into tutorials so those are things that I'm into. I like to um, do those. Um, the tutorial ones I'm getting ideas from other people so I can do them a little bit better. And Balmain Beauty, Balmain Beauty, B-A-L-M-A-I-N, sorry I'm chopping your name. It says, hi Heidi, what made you decide to start a channel? Just for fun. I did it one day because I saw um, Dulcie Candy 87 do it. And I'm like, okay, maybe I can do this is what I said. So I got out a video and my first, I think the first one I did was what was in my first video. And I did it and I put it on thinking I ain't going to get anybody. But within three days I had two reviews and I was like, wow. And five days later, I had an extra review, and I'm like, wow. You know, and then I'll do it again. So I did something else after that, and I ended up getting a little bit more reviews. And I said, well, I'm going to try this. If they can do it, and I know I can do it. And whose YouTube channel you watched first? Uh, Dulcie Candy 87 is one I said I watched. She's down to earth. She's honest. You know, she... Um, does everything in the video. She tells you right to the point if she likes or don't like it. She lets you know if high end or not high end products and where you can buy it and all that stuff. Um, this is what's your favorite video to make. Like I said before, my favorite videos to make are the unboxing ones and I'm starting to get into tutorials so I want to get them to be my next favorite ones to do. Everything. And another one is it says hi honey how's it going going pretty good and you here are some questions of course you don't have to answer them I'm just throwing some out there and this is from can I get an amen amen <laughs> sorry it says number one do you have a job no I don't have a job I'm a stay at home mom are you a work at home mom or both? I'm a, like I said, I'm a stay at home mom <clears throat> due to having an artistic child and it's got appointments, it's got people coming to the house to, for services and everything, so it's kind of hard. What do you do for fun? I play video games, I read, I go on social networks, I watch videos, take walks, things like that. Do you coupon? Love to coupon. I love to trade with anybody that has coupons for coupons that I need to what they want. I use coupons all the time. So if anybody out there is into trading coupons, let me know. We'll work something out. Do you enjoy cooking? Yes, I enjoy cooking. There may be one or two days out of the week where it's like I don't want to cook, but I still cook. You know, I like to cook the things I love to eat. Um, the answer is yes. What's your favorite dish to make? Favorite dish to make is goulash. Like I said before, goulash is with the hamburger and the macaroni, you know, stewed tomatoes and onions and peppers and all mixed up in like a soup you know and stew and it's just so yummy you have to sit all day 
by the time it's time to eat is so good. I can eat three to four bowls of them. So that's kind of a lot. Um, and then it says five. Your hair is so long. I started watching your videos when it was very short. What's your trick to your long, thick hair? Well, actually, it's not long, thick anymore. I mean, it's still thick, but it's not long because I cut it. See? So my hair is like, see right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video on um, some either ne this week or next week. I haven't decided when, but I'm going to do a video on how I got my hair long and the products that I use. Cause some of these products are good for you. Some of these products that I have are not good for you. I mean, it's all everything I've learned through going to cosmetology school to learning from other people online to reading products and all that. So I can tell you how I did it. So I'll do a video on that. I'm not going to go into much detail today, except there is, you know, oils are good for your hair. And number two is, um, what's the other thing? Sulfate free is good for your hair, anything, you know, and not washing it every day. I go like three days in between sometimes without washing it. And you can use dry shampoo to the other times. And it says, um, and she has a few ideas for for me she's a show us your makeup collection my makeup collection ain't like everybody else's i don't have any specific thing all mine are basically in makeup bags in a little bin you know and i do have three pull out drawers that i pay like two three dollars for and they have stuff in it you know so show us your purse collection my purse i can bring all my purses out i have like 10 11 and i can show it to you talk about them you know if you like to do that i might do that in the future it says tutorial on how you clean your makeup brushes. I can do that because everybody does makeup brushes different. So I'll show you how I do it. You know, so we'll do that. And and then it says hi, it's Kara Rothman. Hi. I know you have mentioned from time to time your son is artistic. My son has Asperger's and can be challenging at times. You always seem to be relaxed. I'm curious if you ever find a challenge in yourself. If it's too personal of a question, I understand. It's not a personal question. I don't mind answering. Patience. You know, reward. If he's, you know, reward for the good behavior, not the bad behavior. You know, give him a safe place to go if he needs to have a meltdown. Like in his room, you know, like my son hits his pillow, you know, when he gets angry. You know, don't let him slam their doors. Don't let him, you know, around animals or other people because they may want to bite, hit, kick, you never know what they're going to do. And um, what I do is, you know, and if he has to, he's starting to learn to do something like my son is trying to wear his glasses, I take every day and add a minute on. So today it'd be 22, tomorrow it'd be 23, then it'd be 24. But each time he does it, he wears it for that long time. And once time goes off, you say, yay, good job. And then once he gets so many down the line, it, you, whatever you decide, if you want, every four, every four times he does it, with no co compliant, with that he compliant, or that he did it, then you can reward him with something. You can reward him with an extra few minutes of TV, a video game, you know, his extra dessert, something that you don't always have to cost money. You take him to the park, whatever, you know, and always let him know that you're there for him, you love him, you know, and then um, just give him that extra, few, you know, show him. I know a lot, of, a lot of artistic kids don't like to be hugged, touched, all that, but you can say. I hug you virtual, you know, and go out here and do that, or you can blow him a kiss or whatever, you know, but just let him know that if he has to leave for the day, like to go to school, or just to go someplace for a couple hours, to say, my mom's going to be here when you come back, or dad's going to be here when you come back, you know, and um, I talk, I'm on an um, artistic group on Facebook, and these people um, are very friendly, you know, and everything, some of them have one has three artistic kids, another one has two artistic kids, two of them that I talk to and the rest just have one and a lot of them don't have fathers in their life. At least, you know, Christopher, my son, has a father in his life that's there for him. So what you need to, you know, if you need to reach out and want to talk some more, I'm more than glad to talk to you on YouTube, Facebook, you know, all my social links will all be below if you're interested, you know, um, I can see what I can do to help. I mean, I, I can give suggestions. I mean, services, ABA, you know, is a good service to get your child in there for um, behavior. My son's in school, 
where he's the only autistic one in his class, but he they still have ABA for when he needs it, you know, and they do have their times out and stuff like that in school. So it works out. Like I said, message me if you want to talk more. I'd love to get to know you. And um, mm, Michelle, M-I-C-H-A-E-L-A, -A, Barton, sorry if I'm butchering your name. What's your favorite book? I like B.C. Andrews, which is like Flowers in the Attic set of books. I like Judy Bloom. She has a lot of good books. I used to read her books from little on up. Always went to the library or went to the school library. You know, and I would always make, try to get one of the books because Ramona, you know, and Fudge. They were the best characters to read in them books and I like them. You know, so. And I like Hunger Games. Their series of books are pretty good. And it says, how do you feel about gay marriage? I don't mind gay marriage. If two guys, two women, want to get together and get married, that's fine. Um, if they want children, in my opinion, they should adopt. But if you can't afford to adopt, you can get a surrogate mother to do what you got to do, and then you can have a child. Because you know, there are a lot of kids out there that don't have parents, and it doesn't matter if you're two males or two females having a child. As long as you're loved, you're fine. Because I've had friends that were gay, you know, and they I got along with them. So, mm -hmm. you know, no problem here with them. And it says, um, what's, what's your favorite kind of tea? Chai, chai tea, anything chai tea, vanilla, you know, um, caramel, those are kind of teas I like the most. And then Maria MC says, hi Heidi, how are you, what are your favorite shows to watch and what did you want to do when you grew up? And I love your videos. Elsa, are you going to get married and so what would your colors be? Okay, my favorite shows are? Once Upon a Time, NCIS, Kendra on Top, The Kardashians, um, Ellen, Little House on the Prairie, um, what else? I Love Lucy. Those are the kind of shows that I like. Um, there is two more, oh, Two Broken Girls. They're pretty good. Um, stuff like that. Anything, mostly comedies is what I gravitate toward. You know, or a long series, you know, of one story, and then it keeps going until the end. And you also asked, what do you mean when you grow up? Um, I got my license for cosmetology a few years ago. This is having an artistic kid. It's hard to do both. Maybe down the line I'll get into the field. Who knows? And also, are you going to get married? Was married once. Didn't like it. And if I had to choose my colors, it would be purple and white. Because... When I was married before, we eloped because he was in the military and we had to do our, all that. Megan Webb. Hello, hello, hello. What do you typically eat for breakfast? I usually eat eggs or toast or cereal and things I usually gravitate toward. And what's your favorite summer drink? It's either um, iced tea, iced coffees, um, but most of all, coconut water. I like coconut water and flavored water. Those are those are the things I gravitate toward the most. And it says, what is your favorite kind of flower? To be honest, I don't like flowers, so I don't have a favorite flower, but I like cactuses. So those are what I like. Um, if you could get in your car and drive anywhere right now, where would you go and why? First of all, I do not drive. So, so I would get in a car with someone that does drive, go to the beach, Stop and look out at the ocean and wonder what's happening in um, the rest, the rest of the earth, like what's happening in California, what's happening in Chicago, Florida, all that, just by looking out at the ocean and everything. And Jay Dab says, "Do you like Burt's Bee lip products?" Yes, I do, and I have three right here. And the first one is a sun protection lip balm. And I've used had one but I lost it. It was almost gone but I lost it and now I just got another one. And when you put it on it's a little white but once you put your lip gloss or lipstick or whatever you put on, you have no problem because it's not there anymore. Then I got Soothing Cool Refreshing Burt's Bee Beeswax Lip Balm. And this has menthol in it. So and I've used some of this. So and last but not least my last one which is 
Soothe and nourish and hydrate and birds be plunged in lip balm with pomegranate oil. This one I always keep in my purse. Just just to make sure, you know. If I ever need something, I have this at least because it won't melt. Never use like that much, so I'd use quite so. And then And then I have the last set of questions is from, can I get an amen? Amen! Hi Heidi, how's it going? Going pretty good. Here are some questions, of course you don't have to answer them if you don't want to. Do you have a job? No I don't. I'm a stay at home mom. Two, what do you do for fun? I like to um, read, play video games, go on social networks, you know, take walks, um, watch TV, it's the, number three, do you coupon? Yes, I coupon. I cut them out. I have a lot of coupons. That I love to trade coupons with somebody if they want to trade with me. It's a good deal so we can save money on uh, the food products or bathroom products or beauty or whatever. Um, so if you want to trade, let me know. Or anybody wants to trade, let me know. Four, do you enjoy cooking? Yes. And if the answer is yes, what's your favorite dish to make? I like to make goulash and beef stew. Goulash is my favorite. Beef stew is my boyfriend's favorite. And the goulash, when I make that, uh, it's with the hamburger, the macaroni, the onions, the peppers, you know, and the stewed tomatoes, all that. And it comes out really delicious. I usually eat three to four bowls of that. Your hair is so long. I started watching a video and it's very short. What's your trick for your long, thick hair? Well, there really isn't much except... Um, I'm going to tell you a couple things, but I'm going to do a big video on it because this is more than once that somebody's asked me this, and I said I would do a video. One is don't wash it every day. Wash it every two or three days. Number two, try to use sulfate-free products, which I have some. I have a few that are not sulfate-free. I'm trying to use them up so I can only have sulfate-free products in here. And make sure you don't have dry ends and breakage in your ends. Put oils on it. Make sure you get your hair cut every four to six weeks if at all possible and I'll tell you more as soon as I do the video in about a week or two yeah, and you're welcome so what's your makeup collection my makeup collection is really in makeup bags except for a three tier drawer that's about this big that has my lipsticks in it the next one has my free sample products and the other one has odds and ends in it and the rest are all makeup bags so I can show you if you want but it's really nothing thrilling so what's your purse collection I have like maybe 9 to 11 purses. I can bring them out and show you and talk about them because they're all in one area of my closet. Tutorials on how you clean your makeup brushes. I can do that. I did it like a year ago and some people said it. they didn't like how I was doing it. Some people do like how I'm doing it. It all Everybody does it different. So you can see how I do it and see if you like it. If not, at least it's, you saw our video. Put it that way. So other than that, that was my Q&A. I'm going to get going because it's going on 20 minutes and I don't think y'all want to sit here and listen to me ramble 20 minutes. So have a good day, you know, and hope to see you in my next video and hope you like my hair because it's, I don't know if I showed you, but see how short it got? It was long and now it's short. That's why I said I wish I'd done a video before I cut my hair. Then y'all can see my long hair, but I'll still talk about it. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.